The story of the day, dare I say, is involving Robert Kraft, the owner, of course, of the New England Patriots, who, I don't know, what, a month ago, month and a half ago, was caught up in a sting, a prostitution sting, went to a massage parlor, got some happy endings. Didn't get a massage, right. Right. And there were it's on videotape, and he has tried to use his wealth – Privilege. And his stature and his privilege to not only get out of the crime, but to keep the videotape from being put out there. And uh, today <clears throat> there was were details. I, the police might be bothered, right? And so details have leaked about the specifics of testimony. his encounter. Yeah, the testimony about his encounter. And it's not pretty. It's explicit. And um, we won't get into all the gory details, but it's embarrassing for him. And what I want to say, because I know you have a ton to say about it, is let this be a lesson to people. You know, he's guilty. There's no doubt about it. You're on videotape, okay? Admit your guilt. Repent, if you will. I hate to use a religious word, but well, admit but I, your I know guilt. What you, mean, right. you did something wrong. We know this is a forgiving country. People a will lot of forgive people you. Made mistakes, right? And move on. You would have been fine. You could have probably had a deal with the cops and your plea agreement where this video does not come out. No, no details about it come out. But because you wanted to fight it, when everybody knew you're on videotape, we know you did it. But because you want to fight it, because you thought your money, your prestige, whatever, was going to cover you and get you by, now you're getting embarrassed to high heaven. And it is embarrassing. And people looking at you in a whole different way. So let it be a lesson. You do something wrong, admit it. You did it wrong. You move, you, you're sorry. You're going to do better. And people will forgive you and you can move on and save yourself some embarrassment like Mr. Robert Kraft is going through right now. The uh, late New York Mets announcer Bob Murphy used to have a saying, Chris. He says, that's why they put erasers on pencils. People make mistakes. That's right. It ain't the end of the world. But in this case here, I'm coming at the NFL and Bob Kraft harder. And I did it from day one, Chris, when I said this was an offense that – was worthy of the league saying you should sell the team. Only from this standpoint. The NFL's always been about not embarrassing the shield. We don't need the the letter of the law to determine whether or not. Do you remember players were getting in trouble all the time? Right. And they said, we don't need a conviction in court. We, we will protect our own shield. And if you do stuff to, to wreck the shield or put it in a bad light, we will act. Playing football, owning the football is not a birthright. It's not. It's an exclusive club. You know why, Chris? Because you could have more money in God. The owners decide who gets to own a team. It ain't the highest bidder. You could have more money than all the owners combined and they could still keep you out because they don't uh, believe in what you represent, how you made your money, how you live your life. That's why this is seriously a situation. So you think they should force him to sell? Absolutely. This is embarrassing. This is a guy who thought he had the privilege, Chris. All he had to do was cop a plea like everybody else who got caught got busted on video. He decided, oh, no, and you can't do this, and I'm not coming to court. I'm not seeing the judge. He don't want to do anything, right? Right. He got got arrogant. First time in Patriots history that they didn't want to see videotape. (laughs) I'm shocked. Kawhi didn't like that one. That was hilarious. Thank you. (laughs) That's a rim shot. I'm going to give you the rim shot. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. And, And here's the other part. People say, oh, you're making a big deal. Donald Sterling, who owned the Clippers, was forced to sell his team. Chris, did he commit a crime? No. He did not commit a crime. Being as a much bigot, as I, as being much a racist, as I whatever you want to say. Right. It, it, set a, uh, it set a strange precedent 
to say the least. He right? he said stuff as much as I when he him was, out. he didn't yeah, know it was being recorded right. in his own home, Chris. Off the record in right? your own home. That, yeah. with, with your That's side a bad piece. Precedent. And they said, "Oh no!" When they heard that tape, no way are we allowing you. He made out and sold his team for what two billion dollars? <laughs> he bought him for was? twelve million, I believe. And he got two and billion sold him for two billion. So, so he made don't out. Feel too sorry for him, right? But but this is just my point. It's the same exact thing. All right, and good for the police down in Florida because he got caught, refused to cop a plea like everybody else, and like I said, then some of the information is now coming out. The judges held up the videotape so that that hasn't been released. And they're forcing him to come to court like everybody Which else. Which I like. I, I love right. it. I hate when people who are wealthy, rich, prestigious get away with things that people who are who don't have any right or regular, if you will, would be held, would right. run into jail. Away. And I, that's no, a big problem in our criminal justice system as it is, so I'm glad to see this. Yeah, and I was taken aback. All this time, I thought Robert Kraft was anti-crack, but apparently not. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm steering clear of certain things. <laughs> and I'm going to say this. Ironically, Chris, the Patriots, do you know they released their uh, new theme song for 2019? It just so happened today. And it was supposed to be about Coach Bill Belichick and quarterback Tom Brady. But in light of this testimony, it could be seen in a different light. Take a listen. <laughs> You just don't, don't you just don't know when to quit. Do uh? you? you just don't know when to one quit. One last one. You don't and, know when to stop. And there's no truth to the rumor that Detective Phil McCracken was working his case. But my bottom line is that this is embarrassing to the National Football League. And you have to have your owners held to a higher seriously, a higher uh uh, uh standard. standard than even the players. No, I agree. You you do. And this is a bad situation. You can paint all you want. Oh, he's just an old rich guy and he gets to do whatever he wants. You can't do this and then ask other people to be on some sort of different standard. You can't. And that's why Roger Goodell and the other NFL owners now have to take a look. Because the longer this draws out, Chris, you know what? The, The more information comes out, the more messy it gets. And then, God forbid, the videotape comes out. And Is I'm there gonna any tell you, doubt that it's coming it's out? It's going to come out. Whether and I want TMT, it to come out. I, I yeah, want it to out. come out. And I now want to see it more than I ever have wanted to see it. You want to see it? I want him to be embarrassed. I, I want to see it even less than I wanted now to. I didn't want to see it in the first place, but now I definitely don't want to see it. If you say you want it to come out, I want, it to, I want so, him to be so embarrassed. So he's treated like the average person. I get that. But you want to see it? You want to see it? I want to see the video. I'm a reporter. You're a nasty son. I want to be able to talk about it. <laughs> Feel sick. And see what's going on, and then I can make my own judgment. We can read about it. I don't want to see that thing. Ugh. I Look, I agree with virtually everything you said, Rob, except wanting to see the tape. But the other, I don't agree with him being forced to sell. I unless again I thought if it was tied to sex trafficking, which obviously well, that's is totally egregious, right. that's a whole he'd different be, thing. He'd be in jail, he, yeah, and he'd be in jail, and he should sell. But I think he should be suspended, no activities near the team, nothing for a year. I think that's what it should be. I, I don't think he should be forced to sell. He, he look, I I am all for you know. I mean, we it's part of our show. I'm a Christian, you know. I have certain moral standards. I would be all for our country really having high moral standards. But when I look at the fact that presidents, our current president has talked terribly about women right. and done crazy things with, you know, in this same situation, pretty much. Uh, our our past presidents have done things, you know, with interns and so to speak. Like, if you can still be the president of the United States, it's sad, it's shameful, but it's a fact and do those but things, do you, I can't can say I you stop can't you own a football team. The difference, though, is Donald Trump was elected by the people of the country. Having a football team is not a right. It's not. That's why the owners have to vote on you to even get in their exclusive club. Chris, that's, what, that's the difference. If Trump had to go get hired by people, 
Or, but are they all? No, again, but I'm just saying. I think he should be that's suspended the difference. for a year. But think my point, about it. Are all of these owners we gonna hold them to this type of standard? Yes, you should. They, they, they doing it behind the scenes. A lot of them. Well, if you get caught and busted, it's different. You're driving 80 miles an hour. We know this on the highway. It's only till you get caught. And if you get caught like he got caught. He should have to pay a, a steep price. I agree with that. And I, I don't I care how old price, he is. I don't, I don't care how much money he has. I don't care how prestigious he, he uh, a team he owns. All right. That's your point. You made it strong. 877-99 on Fox. 877-996-6369. Should the NFL force Robert Kraft to sell the Patriots? You're fired. In light of this embarrassment that is going on right now and the fact that he's embarrassed the shield. Can we hear that theme song one more time? You know sick. DJ Tyson. You remember that jam? That. that was the jam. It's not we'll me playing continue it. the conversation with you next. It's the I Couple Fox Sports Radio. I'm serious today. I am. I know. You're not in that mood. And you I want am. something vindictive, something No, vengeful. I just want it to be the same for everybody. I That's agree. all. But a player, That's all. Don't but, hold but, players at well, no, a different standard. But no. a player would not get kicked out of the league for this. That's the thing. So but, I'm saying he should get punished. And, and I said suspended for a year, but also they should lose draft picks. You know, like something football related should be done too. They should, my, should be a but, serious punishment. All right. And you're ahead. right. Owners held to a higher standard. It. That's it. All right. Look, we're brought to you by Geico. We got some great news there. A quick and easy way that you can save money. Switch to Geico. It only takes 15 minutes to see if you can save 15% or more on your car insurance. Go to Geico.com and see how much you can save. All right, let's get to it. Let's do it. 877-99 on Fox. Should the NFL force Robert Kraft to sell? Let's start with Chris in Indiana. You're on with the Odd Couple. Hey, fellas. uh, Love the show. Listen to it every chance I get. Hey, so I'm totally with you. Uh, Robert Kraft should be forced to sell that on the grounds that they forced Jerry Richardson to sell the Panthers after allegations of sexual harassment. This this is far past that. No no doubt about it. Richardson was pushed out. Everybody knows it. That's and, a great and, point. And, right? I they did about it Richard because he was, and with, it was just getting foot massage. And get, doing stuff. Foot, but, right. But right. The, what, it what, was in the workplace. But what Bob Kraft did is against the law. Right. He I broke the law. That's a good he point. He should be forced to sell. Thanks, Chris, for the phone call. That's a good point. Appreciate Chris. it. What about Marty in Kentucky? You're on the odd couple, Fox Sports Radio. Hey, fellas. How are you? I'm great, man. Um, I can't. I'm not going to hate on Kraft. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a Patriots fan. I'm a Steelers fan, and they sure have beat us up over the last 15 years. But but I, I can't just I wouldn't lose my job if I got caught doing that. Not that I do that. And I and I, I what my question is I'm just not sure what the driving force is with Rob. I don't know if he wants to see the video because of his senior citizen finish or because he hates the Patriots so much. No, I'm, it's probably a little bit of both, Marty. Look like, at that. Marty's like, even like getting many Kawhi. things is somewhere in between. No, it's it's just that I want him to be fully embarrassed like everybody else who they showed a videotape of when they get caught in stings. It happens all the time. But didn't you say it in the break you wanted to watch it by yourself with a bottle of wine? No, I didn't say all that. <laughs> Chris, what are you talking about? We just got to come out here and stick it in their butt. Oh, God. There we go. Oh, that you? Guys, no, that wasn't me. That was – who was that? Somebody from the Dodgers. Let's go to Jonathan in Indiana. Jonathan, you're on with Chris and Rob. Yes, sir. Um, I love the show. Uh, Thank you. Thank hypothetically, you. hypothetically speaking, uh, you know, talking about the white privilege in, in our country, uh, what, what if, let's say, you know, after his football career, Antonio Brown owns a football team and he gets caught doing something like this, what would the NFL do to him? opposed to Robert Kraft in this situation. Um, I, I believe Antonio Brown or, or any other black athlete that, that would own a team would be punished a lot more. So when it comes to being forced to sell the team, I'm, I'm not so sure that would be out of the question, um, that they need to force him to do that, absolutely. Um, I just think that something needs to happen. They need to make an even playing field for these owners compared to the players. They are held to a higher standard. Um, so, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn off. Yeah, it's but no, it's hey, kind Jonathan, of a hypothetical. We don't right. know for sure. But, yeah, I mean, 
that that could be the case. And if that's the case, then yes, make himself the the best one I heard was the Jerry Richardson, right. which I had had slipped my mind. Jerry Rich, Richardson was yeah. forced to sell, yeah. and he now you can argue what he was doing was in the workplace. So it was people he was actually working with that he was sexually harassing. But to your point, this is this is against the law. I mean, that's that's against the law too, sexual harassment. Right, but this he got busted. But, like yeah, this isn't it, like hearsay or whatever. I'm not this gonna. Yeah, I'm deal. not gonna uh, gonna uh, you know march on behalf of Robert Kraft if they make him sell. I don't think they will. But I, I'm I'm starting to move toward that way. Let I me think squeeze one more in. Uh, Jeff in legit. Kentucky, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Jeff? What's going on? Has Mr. Kraft been proven guilty? Not, Not yet. yet. Okay. So we need to leave it alone. And Chris Boussard, I got to throw this in there. Tom last week was in the middle of a storm. Or your buddy Rob, you're 95% right all the time, Chris. Being like your buddy Rob said Oklahoma City had the best barbecue. You remember seeing and hearing that? Yeah, and I corrected him immediately. Well, he needs to get online and look at the barbecue capital of the world. It's Owensboro, Kentucky. I, I don't know about that. I used to <laughs> live in Kentucky, Jeff. I look, live... I'm sure next time I'm in Kentucky, I'm going to get some barbecue, but I never heard of Kentucky as the capital. No, I didn't either. Thanks, world. Jeff. Appreciate the call. All right. We are going to uh, continue to talk about this Robert Kraft situation. If you want to weigh in, 877-99 on Fox is the number. And, and, and the problem, Chris, this is the other one. You know this. Is he's the he's a he's a legendary owner, right? And then a lot of outlets don't want to tackle this story or talk about it because they have relationships with the NFL and how's go, well, Bob Kraft going to call up and say, "Oh my God, what are you guys doing to me? We got a deal. Yep. We supposed to be part." Yep. So it makes for a tough spot to be in. But in this case, I, I, I think those things should come down when someone breaks the law. No question. This ain't rumors. This ain't hearsay. I agree, Chris. Don't put that on the air. You can't go on just hearsay and stuff. This is testimony that that was taken. Right. Right? This, right. this is not a rumor. This is this is in the right and on the on the on the record. And they've got videotape. And right. again, we haven't seen the videotape, but no one's denying. He's not denying. He and his lawyers aren't denying that it's on videotape. Right. Or they that's don't not want him. It to be shown. If right. it's not you, if it, if you didn't do anything show wrong, it. show the videotape. I got a massage like a lot of other human beings. What's Only thing is, it was 15 minutes, and massages don't take 15 right. minutes. Right. And and that's why there's a lot of things, and they're trying to get it on. Uh, they're trying to get away with a. Uh, what's the when you get on a technicality? Yes, that yes, he shouldn't exactly. have, that he they're shouldn't not, have, that he shouldn't have been right. stopped, and that and that that's they're what not they're saying. arguing his guilt. They did deny it, of course, but that's that's not the crux of their argument. Everybody did not when you go exactly. on a, say not guilty. The crux of their argument is you illegally videotaped him. Right. That's not, not that he wasn't breaking the law, right, but that right. you that you got the videotape illegally. And Rob, I hate. When that's one of the, again, I mean, this is probably every society, but that's one of the problems in our society is when people with wealth, privilege for whether it's money, some race, something else, they get away with things that your average citizen or some discriminated against minorities don't get away with. That get thrown in jail right away. No attorney, no right. money for anything. So, so you're, you're handled with a, uh, uh, public defender exactly. who's got a million cases, yep. and yours, you are not a priority. Right. And they come in, they haven't read the testimony, they haven't read any of the information, and basically just sitting there with you. Yep. You got no chance. No, you they have... got deals with the police, you know, with oh, the courts. Exactly. I mean, it's on. a bad thing. And so, no. the, but the NFL, so you're right. To... If he's, if they, I'm starting to come to your side just because if they come down more heavy handed on him, look how many times a rich, wealthy person gets away with crimes. Like I always talk about, you got billionaires, multimillionaires committing crimes for more money. Right. And you treat the poor person who actually really needs some money. I'm Who's not talking about crime. No, you're yeah. not, but I understand it right. You treat them worse, and they in jail for a decade, for life, whatever it may be, and you're letting these rich people who, why I don't even know why they're committing crimes like this, for the thrill or what? And you let them get away. It's called and greed. So, yeah, that's what it is. And so if, look. 
if he if they throw the book at him, I think it might be a little heavy handed. But like I said, I'm not going to be oh, they it was too much. You know, they shouldn't have went at him that hard. No, it's tons of other people only because, getting, you know, who, who really getting punished for things that are, you know, they're doing. And it had it not happened at uh, the Richardson case and, and Charlotte. Yeah, that one is and, and And the other one, and, and uh, Sterling, who didn't even commit a crime. Right. I mean, the NBA forced him to sell without even committing a crime. Think about that. I mean, that, that, that to me says you, you, your jurisdiction as a league and a private club and you have to get voted in, yep. they, have, they have much more power than if this was a, a regular uh, business or something and you couldn't force them to shut well, down. That's like you, obviously, that's a different league. But if this were to happen in the NBA and with what they did to Donald Sterling, he definitely they would definitely have to make him sell. But again, the Jerry Richardson case, man. I mean, it was creepy and it was wrong, you right. know. But it was nothing that went to the extent that we know of that that Robert Kraft did. You it, know, yeah, so. no, but it, it, like you said, it was at the workplace. In this case, this is a crime, and I think that he mishandled it. I really do, and I know he's got lawyers and all this. He probably what did we say earlier? This is a forgiving country. Yep. Own up to it. Yep. I made a, a mistake. I, I I just I don't know what I was doing. I made a mistake. I never should go to these places. I don't know what I was doing. Please forgive me if I hurt, offended any of the Patriot Nation, right. my the, family, the NFL. the NFL, anybody. No question. And I'm going to go get some rehab. I'm going to change my ways. And people can buy that. Yeah, they Chris, would, look. People make mistakes no all question. the time. They would have forgiven him, and there's no doubt about it. But he got arrogant. He felt like he had privilege, which he does. Uh, he felt like his money, you know, would buy him out of this, which it's probably bought him out of things in the past. And uh, he didn't think it was a big deal. But no, they got you on videotape. We don't even have to see the videotape. We just look at the way you're reacting. Your lawyers are reacting. We know the videotape and exists. He all- the cops are talking about it. You're guilty, dude. And he, al- and he also, when he put out a statement, he apologized. What are you apologizing right. for if right. you didn't do anything? Right. That's why I always say you know if, what I mean? if I'm accused of doing something egregious, that's embarrassing, that's going to sully my reputation, and I did not do it, oh, you know I'm fighting it. Exactly. You would have to. Yes. I mean, But so, if you so did th- something and you got busted and you're caught, just own up to right. it to this day. I'm telling you, it's the biggest mistake. And instead, the police now are looking at it like, oh, okay. Right. Okay, so you're going to make us look yep. like we don't know what we're yep. doing. That's exactly we're these hicks it. down in Florida, whatever. We're, no, we got you. And we got all the evidence and we have everything. And little by little, more and more is coming out until that video. TMZ, I don't know if they're writing it's, a check. It's gonna Somebody's going to write the check. It's going to come And we're going to see the video. And you, I know you can't wait. <laughs> not in a perverse way. <laughs> well, thank you for that. <laughs> what? Not in a perverse way, but I want him... To suffer the embarrassment of the video. That's all. Is that because because a lot of, of your people dislike it, 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 it to any degree? Does your dislike for the Patriots and the fact that they nearly forced you to move to Mexico <laughs> come into play at all? Not at all. I'm just. I think that they've gotten away with a lot. Well, they that, that's another thing. That is. I'm just saying. That is, but but, but and I, I want them to be held responsible, like everybody else. That's all. N- I don't think that they deserve, or Robert Kraft deserves a break. But I actually think when I said that's another thing, I'm saying that in your favor. Like, their team has been, now I know he's the owner, and maybe he didn't have anything to do with it, but you're the owner. The buck stops with you. You're, you're supposed Deflate to know what's going gate, right. Spy gate. I don't think those are egregious sins, but obviously they they were wrong, and the team got punished for it. So timing, it seems like every few years we got to punish y'all for something. And you know what's crazy? Tom Brady did the same exact thing. Tom Brady mishandled his thing that turned into a four game right. suspension. Good point. Tom Brady should have just said, "Hey, I asked the ball boys to let the air out. I didn't realize it was underneath the specifications." Put right, it on me. Right. I'll pay the fine, and I won't do it again. That's all he had to say. What did he do? Tear up his cell phone. The ball boys. You know, he had 100 messages to ball boys. Yep, he, yep. He, he just refused to cooperate with the investigation. The league had no choice.
Yep. Had Tom Brady owned up to it, they wouldn't have suspended. They didn't want to suspend him. He's their poster boy for the league, Chris. No, you're right. Right? It's, it's very so similar. he mishandled it, and now here we are with Robert Kraft doing the same thing where they're above the law, they're privileged, they're wealthy. They, they don't follow the same rules. Oh, no, you're not going to do this to me. I'm going to fight. Talking about Tom Brady was going go no, to go right. to, to the uh, Supreme Court. Yep. Over airing the footballs? You're going to waste people's time and energy over that? I That's what they you. wanted to do. Let's take a few calls. We got some guys that want to weigh in. Let's start with Brad in New Jersey. Brad, you're on with Chris and Rob. Hey, guys. What's going on? How are you? Good. How are you? I'm um, good, thank you. I I know you, uh, Mr. Parker over there is not a huge Patriots fan, so I'm sure it has a lot to do with him wanting to have Robert sell the, the Patriots. But I didn't see anybody crying when Jim Irsay got busted for uh, well, all the drugs and all the money and cash that he had for him to to get forced him to sell the team. That was a pretty big embarrassment for the NFL. So what would be you know, got, what, what's what's your comparison? Richardson and the sexual. Uh, I think and Ursay was before Richardson. Exactly. Yeah. I I, I, do, yeah. I hear what you're saying, Brad, but, but I think the standards have risen because after like me, just after, after me, me too, too, things have changed since yeah, then. That's I think that's the deal. I hear where you're coming from, but I you know let's, Richardson was treated more harshly then, than Ursay. Let's so go things to, are changing. Let's go to Richard in Virginia. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Richard? Uh, yes. Um, I really appreciate you linking the two together and somewhat keeping this alive. I've not sure heard another program that actually stayed on this. And, Rob Parker, you got it spot on. When Brady uh, had that press conference and the condescension and the later arrogance, I think a lot of people turned. And I really appreciate both of you linking these two together. And I would say just somewhat keeping this issue alive, but you're taking, the, I think, the right, the fresh perspective. And you do a great job together. Keep it up. Well, thank Richard, you, thank, thank you. you. And and you know what? I'm going to say this, and it's not to pat ourselves on the back. We're both newspaper reporters right. that have a have a background in reporting news, Chris. And this is what we've done, okay? Yep. We do radio and TV now, but our background is in newspaper reporting. And 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 these stories don't go away, and you got to dig at them a little bit. That's all. No, and they should be – this should be a bigger – it's a big story, but it should be bigger. You're right. Not a lot of people are talking about it. I haven't heard many people talk about what type of punishment he Nothing. should get. And, no, it's – to me, I look at it as privilege, you know, and – And that's you know, why tying the Brady thing, rich, too, it goes right, – Because if Brady, you really think yep, about it. And you know I am a time Brady Right, but fan. you know Brady but should he, have admitted yeah, it. he acted arrogant. It was the, – the caller used the right word, condescending – you know, I'm so high and mighty that I don't have to answer you know, to you. Right. right. That's kind of and, and and let's keep it real. And again, this is not from a guy that doesn't like the Patriots. Bill Belichick comes off that way. Yes. And the whole, I'm not I don't have to answer your press, your, your questions. Absolutely. I'm not going to give you anything. So there is a little uh, come up and, you know, and it related in this thing. Uh, so, yeah, look. We're going to keep talking about it as long as it's out there and until we get to a conclusion. So you And we talked sure. about Rob how players, you know, are treated one way. And again, I don't think if this happened to a player he would lose his career over it. Uh but uh Tyreek Hill, of course a player who has now been uh he he had a domestic violence situation in college. He went to uh counseling for a year, was given a second chance. And now, allegedly, uh, he's being charged, not charged, but the the talk is that he may have broken the arm of his three-year-old son, may have abused his son. His lawyer sent a letter to the NFL today denying all allegations. Rob G., you want to read maybe a money quote from that letter? Yeah, there's two things that really stand out in this letter. One of them, uh, again, denying the allegation that he punched his son. Here's part of the letter's quote. The only thing Tyreek does with his son that is close to what she is describing as punching is when they're playing. Tyreek's son loves to play as if he and Tyreek are Marvel comic heroes. So they kind of play fight. And then later on, he uh, details a text message exchange between Tyreek Hill and his fiance. Now, here's the back and forth guy, Tyreek, saying, quote, Crystal, you know I didn't cause any bruising or harm to our son, but for some reason I still may be charged in her response. I know you didn't. I did. I hurt our son. I'm the one that did it. I was hurt and I was mad at you. 
so I blamed you for everything. Now, does that sound How, like a text? How convenient. She says everything you Every, need to exa- know. Right, right. exactly. You, but you didn't do it. I did right. it. I, I hurt our son, and I did it. Here's what happens with some of these women who, you know, they accuse their football playing boyfriend, basketball, whatever, of abuse. And then they realize he was the, the gravy train. You know? I w- I'm going to live nice and fat when I'm with but him. I'm Not also all gonna... women, but some of them. And that's why some backtrack also, and though, deny Chris, it and take their recant and all that stuff. I, but also there are women who are afraid of these guys, too. There right? are some bad guys who they're afraid of. And that's why they wind up backtracking as well. That's why court of laws all over this country, at, when it comes to domestic violence, they don't even need the woman anymore to press, you know what I mean, to go forward. If the state has enough evidence, Chris, they can go forward without her testimony because so many women have been afraid to, to testify against these guys. They're terrified of them. Here's my thing with Tyreek, Rob. He, look. Innocent to proven guilty. No. I'm with it. I, you know, this right? is what the country is built on. We get guilty, it. No yep. doubt. But when I just look at the situation, he said, she said, I'm, I'm just saying me personally. I'm not the law, so I'm not convicting him, but I don't believe him. I, I, he's lost that benefit of the doubt with me after knowing you choked your pregnant girlfriend, you punched her in the belly while she's pregnant, and then... Last week it came out that you're on tape telling her when she says your your son is terrified of you, you should be terrified too, B. Now we right? heard that. Was we that not that. his voice? Right. So when you do those things with me, again, I'm not the court of law. I can't convict you. I'm not convicting you. But I just don't believe you when you come out and have these great denials and, oh, you never touch your son and it's all playing and all that stuff. No, I'm with you. I, I got it. It's hard to look past those, and act like they didn't happen. It happened. Your track record, this isn't everything. It goes with you. It follows you. 